Hey, what's up, it's Ben here. If you're just starting out, understanding the different order types will be beneficial to you when trading. This way you can somewhat automate your trades and also not let your emotions get in the way of trading. In this video, I'll be going over what a stop limit order is and how to set a buy and sell stop limit order on Webull. If you wanna know other order types on Webull like trailing stop loss or take profit and stop loss order, I have video links in the description for you to check out. So with that being said, what is a stop limit order? It is a combination of a stop order and a limit order. So there's two prices that you'll need to set. One is for a stop price and the other one is a limit price. The stop price acts like a trigger and once the market price hits your stop price, it'll trigger a buy or sell limit order to make sure you get your order filled around the limit price. It's like an if then statement. If this happens, then do this. Hope that's not too confusing. If it is, I'll run through a live example with you on my phone right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go onto my account and click on the center icon on the bottom and it'll take me to my account. And for this example, I'm gonna be using ticker symbol GE to do a buy and a sell. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on GE and they'll bring it, me up to this screen and currently I have uh, four shares in total. And I'm gonna click buy. And as you can see on the top part section, it says uh, current price is $13.68. So right now it's uh, selected for buy and the order type, I'm gonna choose stop limit right over here. And then for the stop limit under that, it says set a stop price higher than the current price. If the latest stop, if the latest price rises to the stop price, a limit buy order is triggered. So I'm gonna select that. And then, so there's two prices you have to set. So one is a stop price and the stop price is basically your trigger or the if part of the statement. So currently it's selected $13.81 and the limit price is $13.88. And again, this is good if you, um, are expecting like a, a breakout uh, of a support or resistant, then this will help you and it will get rid of your emotions when you're trading stocks like this. So a stop price is currently set for 18, uh, 1381, but what if you don't wanna do something like 18, uh, 1381, you could do, go up, let's say increase it to uh, uh, 1385, you could do that for the limit price and this is the price that you're willing to pay uh, but it won't go over that price. So let's say uh, you want to do 1380, let's do 13, 1390. How about that? And then again, so for right now, currently it's trading at 1368. So, so if that current market price reaches to 1385, it will trigger it and then it'll start buying your orders, whether it's uh, 1386, 1387 or so forth, it'll continue buying as long as it doesn't go over 1390. And obviously in the stock market and the stock price, it could gap. And if it gaps between like all the way to like, let's say $14, it's not, it's just gonna skip this order and not execute. So anything that's below 1390, it'll buy and it'll trigger at 1385 and that's how it works. So currently I'm gonna just select one and then time and force, you could do day. I'll scroll down, do day or uh, good to cancel. So you have good to cancel or day. So usually I just put good to cancel and then go ahead and select buy. And I'll place it and it's now in a working order. Now it's just pending until, until the market opens or it hits that price, uh, 1385. It'll start buying that one share that I wanted. And I'm gonna just leave it as is. So I'm gonna back this one out and then go back, or actually I'm gonna be on this screen and then I'm gonna do a sell order now. So click on close and then close again. Now it'll bring me to a sell order on this same page, but on a sell version of it. So order type, I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna do stop limit. And under stop limit, it says set a stop price lower than the current price. If the market price drops to the stop price, a limit sell order is triggered. So again, it's perfect if you're uh, doing some uh, support and if you see this trend going down, it'll minimize your uh, losses. So hit uh, stop limit. And then now uh, for your stop price and stop uh, your limit price, it's already preset. But if you don't like those prices, you could obviously, uh, you know, 
go higher or lower whatever you want so currently it's uh 13 uh 68 now it's 13 50 let's just do 13 50 and then limit price you could do it let's say this is how much you're okay with losing let's say 13 40 i'm going to just do one just in case and again uh this is stop price is where it's going to be triggered and then limit price is where you know the lowest it's, it's going to sell and if everything looks right i'm going to do just hit sell oops i didn't, i forgot this is not trading hours so let me go okay time and force good to cancel and then do sell and then now it's out your order is out so that's pretty much it but if you want to look at your quote uh go on the quotes and you'll see the lines where it's gonna buy and sell. So right now, currently, if I zoom in on this chart right over here, zoom in really close. All right, so my position, current position, I have four, oops, let me just, yeah, I think this should uh, do it. Yeah, current position, I have uh, four shares and it's at $13.49. And then I have a line for a buy, $13.90 for, for my stop limit and uh 1340 for my stop limit to sell and you could adjust it by clicking on it and moving the line up or down or you know you can modify it by clicking on this one and you could just modify the order if you like i'm gonna hit back and then or you could just cancel it on this left uh symbol right here over here and just cancel order if you want and click on no oops i actually click on yes <laughs> so whatever that's cancel now and then on the sell one, you could do the same thing up, down, you know, modify or cancel. So up to you on what you want to do. So that's pretty much it. So there you have it. That's how you set up a stop limit order. Hope now you feel a little comfortable setting one up. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more uploads like these. And I'll catch y'all later.